Hey guys, we, um, give me a sec here. Gonna get everything set up for the, uh, build real quick, or the gameplay real quick. Which is Undecember, which I've been doing some content for this game, as it were. And today I got a little bored, and I was like, yeah, I'm not really doing a lot. Let's do a whirlwind build for Undecember. So here we are. We're going to step in. We're going to do that. We're going to set that together. That's crazy. I don't know why the YouTube studio is so raggedy here late. But all right. Um we got that up. We got that going. Let's piddle around. Let's play a little bit here. Chat. We'll play for a bit and we'll decide whether or not we'll do something else in a little while. But yeah, we're early game in it. Playing a little um whirlwind build, which I my other build piercing arrow, which I absolutely love. I like it. I just was like, man, maybe I should do a melee build in conjunction with it. And I think this will be a really quick and easy one to put together. I could also answer the melee build questions if anybody stumbles on the channel and they're trying to figure out, you know, hey, what's the best thing to do for melee build? Which I do not know every. All right, I don't actually. I don't know a lot at all. I know a lot of the bare minimum basic, but I have been uh, thoroughly enjoying this game mode. Um, I've been having a lot of fun with the origin mode. I find it more satisfying to play than the standard mode, which I do have about five or six standard mode characters. Um, I don't even think we completely finished the very first origin mode run, or uh, season run, the first season, which I was excited about it. I liked it, but the seasonal rewards, in my opinion, are lackluster. I don't care about the seasonal rewards. I feel like they're, they're a little weak salty, but either way, what we're doing right now is just fine. And <laughs> we got a we got the lucky fish hook. And um, you know what? Let's run the lucky fish hook, see if that helps us get more unique item. Uh fill up that unique compendium. Maybe we'll one day get the ring, the unique ring that gives you a 40% damage bonus per ring. I wish they would buff that though. I feel like they should do like they do in Diablo. Because Diablo has a a, a ring set, which this game doesn't have set yet, but has a ring set. That for each um, unique or legend, not unique, or legendary. Um, each it's legendary in that game, isn't it? Dang, dude, I feel like I've lost it. I feel like I don't remember Diablo. In Diablo three, there's a ring in it, uh, a set item. Um, I think it's uh, constraint, restraint, and dude, I don't even remember. It's been so long. But for each uh, legendary item you have on your character, there is a 100% damage bonus. And I like that. I like that because that, again, can make you come up with some really interesting build ideas at the end of the day. Things that you typically uh, wouldn't do. Um, very new on the channel here. Um, I play this game a lot. I, I have a lot of videos on my other YouTube channel about this game. But I'm planning on pulling all those down and basically redoing everything and putting all of my undecember efforts into one place so for people who have loads of questions about the game or just want to um come find out if you guys you can make that happen here on this youtube channel i normally don't even i haven't really live stream live stream this game in a while i do find it more more exciting than playing diablo personally personally I like it. I like it. I like the game. Alright, beat him down. Beat him down. Alright, he's gonna molt. He's molting, guys. He's molting.
And I'll be honest with you, if you were to make a new character um, and you wanted to, uh, a build that typically will help you kind of breeze through the game uh, pretty quick um, to get through some of the more monotonous portions of it to get the end game, this build is really, really good early game um, because it gives you that high mobility. It gives you quick level speed or level clear speed. So you could basically rush through the small mobs uh, and then you will be able to continue with it. You can level this up, make it even better by end game if you legendary everything. But it's not like, you know, it's not necessary. But once you get to like the later ones, Whirlwind Barrage is a really fun one to do as well, which gives you a little more range than what Whirlwind is. But I will say Whirlwind has a pretty decent, pretty decent range if you if you have it right. Your whirlwind can be devastating to a good portion of the screen. I've never seen. Looks like, like I say, it's all depending on like your play style. The early game portions of it aren't really that hard anyway. But uh, once you beat the game one time, you do lose the ability to do like uh, free rune transfers and things of that nature. Um, and I'm not gonna sit here. I'm not a. I'm not a free player. I am a paid player. I do pl uh, pay for uh, the. Uh, I pay for the, um, the pass and whatnot every two weeks. Um, I do pay for that. I do if I'm if I want something, I don't mind to spend a couple bucks to get it. Um, I like that. I do. Uh, it's no different. I just wish it wasn't that way. I'd rather it be like a real deal auction house, so that the players get 100% of the income versus them having like a, a tax that they will charge because they have a little tax. I, I, it's not the best part of the game. No, not, but hey, I still thoroughly enjoy this game. There was a, a dude that was talking to me the other day. He said he would love to play this game, but he's from Australia and the closest servers like Japan. And it really doesn't matter what server he jumps on. He always experiences lag, which that blows. Honestly, that blows. Um, I've never experienced it being a North America player. Um, I haven't had those issues. And I, I hate it because, I mean, I don't know, for a free game, you can really get, you can really do a lot with no money. Honestly, you can do a whole lot with no money. And honestly, like, my opinion, if, you, if you're going to play the seasonal character, I wouldn't spend a lot of money on the seasonal characters anyway because typically your seasonal characters are only going to last about three to four months and then they're gone but that's that's completely up to that's that's always up to the person who's playing right right now i'm running a uh, sword and shield <laughs> by the way or dagger and shield anyway like um i'm running the lucky fish hook with the mirror wall which is just giving me block expertise armor and uh, reflect damage along with the, the Lucky Bishop, which gives you a gold gain and a really high amount of um, item drop rarity. There's like a belt fort, there's a ring fort. I think, actually, do I have that ring? I can't remember if I have the ring or not. Oop, wrong one. I do not. Oh, no, I don't, I don't. Oh, but that would be fun. I think that ring would be fun uh, for the build. Let's just pop that bad boy on. Yeah. I think the lightning coil or lightning nail, shock rate, shock duration, shock chain count, gain ca uh, capacitor effect on flicking shock, uh, max 10 stacks. Uh, release lightning with the falling effect near an enemy in a 400 radius at max capacitor stacks. Uh, lightning damage 350%. Nah, yeah, I like that. I feel like that would be better. Just because we're running this lightning based build. Um, uh uh. No, you can't come over here right now, okay? The only reason is because I'm live and you're not wearing a shirt. You had to put some clothes on. Go put some clothes on. Yeah, tell her, tell her that's why.
No, I mean, I, I, I like what this is. Look at that. Some good old spoulders. Good old spoulders drop. Um, they are a bizzling spoulders, so they're not really going to fit the fit the vibe at all. But um, it's kind of it's I'm kind of curious, you know, when you get this loot rarity going on with an already bonus of loot rarity in the game, as it were, are we gonna see? Will I see more uh, legendary item dropping? Very low level, but the legendary items that you can get in Origin mode is probably one of my favorite things about Origin mode. Um, I don't mind sacrificing. I don't mind sacrificing the chance to grab. Um, to re-roll gear for the chance of getting legendary I I don't I think that I think that's a fair trade in my opinion um on my primary character I've gotten so many basic basically you know nice legendary items as it were that like it's just exciting to get them now it was exciting to to manufacture your own legendary item um in the original mode not the origin mode I mean that was always really cool but uh oops i missed a catapult but the the thing that stands out is like now we don't have to we don't have to farm for materials to craft the legendary you know what i mean it's it's cool that you can do that but you don't we don't have to now we can just play this mode and let rng be our friend on getting just getting the legendary item versus um having to get an item re-roll the crap out of an item hope that we can get a um hope that we can get a uh legendary up upgrade uh, essence or gear and then <laughs> get lucky enough to grab it so me personally i i do prefer this game mode uh for a multitude of reasons but that is probably the prime reason for me normal link room what we got here crit chance confidence and Use count. Normal link room. What is this? Uh, convert, convert, convert lightning. Yeah, absolutely. We're we're gonna try to make this as much of a lightning build as we can, um, as well. Can I, um. of that you don't you just don't work as good as I wonder if it'll sorry mm -mm. um Maybe that'll help. Okay, that actually worked for us, guys. 
Yeah. Feeling like a champion. Uh, but yeah. Yeah. Clean vibe, man. Clean vibe. Now, I believe like this is a little mana hungry early game because we've already got most of our stuff five link. Oh, look how cool I am! That was that was pretty that was pretty cool how my character was standing there like that, right? You see that? I thought it was slick. Skip that. Trainee sword, small dagger, forgotten compass necklace. Let's go with that because I believe that's attack speed. Is it not? Yeah, so a little bit more attack speed, baby. Look at that. All uniques, guys. <laughs> I should be ashamed, right? I should be ashamed. But I'm not. But I am not. Well, we're just going to rush through. Let's go play as I can, get this thing to end game, and see how it goes. You know what I haven't done? I haven't done that in a while. Shake it up. Shake it up. I think this is going to be the better put my face. What my TikTok was? It didn't log me out. It didn't log me out, guys. That's wild. <clears throat> okay. Didn't look too bad. Doesn't look too bad at all. Why are things that way? How can they treat the hero of Calicorda like this? It's a real shame. There must be a misunderstanding. Just wait here. Let me do something about it. I saw the one the path is there we go looking good Yeah, that worked. 
As always, guys. As always. How often do I do a middle of the day stream, though? I never, ever really get to do one of these. I'm normally, I'm normally busy doing a lot of other stuff, aren't I? But we've been we've been somewhat limiting our stream streams down a little bit. Ooh, what was that? Just uh, some 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 booties? I got some booty. Get it. I mean, that lightning coil at the lightning damage at 350%, I, I wish, so I wish there was a way within this game to kind of see what damage output was at times on certain things, because there's a lot of stuff that'll give you damage boosts in this game, but won't actually tell you what those damage boosts are, right? Like, you'll know it's going to do something at a certain rate, but it won't tell you what that actually looks like. And probably the only way to do that is in the training grounds. You can stand there and do a training ground for like a minute. And it'll kind of give you an idea. But there's like this ring that I'm wearing supposedly procs a, uh, a lightning strike ever so often. It, you know, but there's no real way to see how that's going to, ooh, Big Daddy, how that's going to actually impact it. When do we get our first legendary item? That's what I want to know. Let me get that back, boy. Look at all the goodies that came out. Look at all the goodies. I'm not going to grab any of that. <laughs> I'm not getting any of it, man. I'm not. I don't need it. You know what I'm saying? I don't need it. Not right now, anyway. Too early. Too early. Too early. The only thing I'm looking for right now are the uniques. Maybe if a decent enough legendary drops um, this early. I don't think I was getting legendaries this early in the game, though. I really don't. I feel like... On my other character, legendary items are dropping kind of later. So we'll, we'll see how that goes at the end of the day. We'll see how that goes. What is this, Act 3? Uh, super Tall Tree, I just chose, I honestly just chose the Lightning version, dude. Um, I wanted to see how fast I could get through the game with this one. So like right now, I know it's going to be hard for you to see why you're right here. Actually, no, it's about perfect. So I'm just doing lightning chain with uh, the regular whirlwind um, because I've done the whirlwind barrage one, right? I love whirlwind barrage. I have a max level whirlwind barrage character, but this is probably the first time I've actually done the melee whirlwind. So, you know, of course I've looked at kind of some of the top ranking ones that are on the, the recruitment board for this season. Um, and in looking at that, actually, dude, you should be doing persistence. It should be um, and looking at that, um, it just seems like it would be a fun one to do, in my opinion. So, I'm, I'm running that right now. Do you, Super Tall, do you have one that you're running? Like, is there a favorite you've got? Alright, get back in it. Oh, yeah, we need to join a guild. Let's just join the iPhone guild. Somebody we can donate this junk to. be done with that part all right what what do you what do you what do you have a question about are you interested in whatever we still don't have access to auction house where we're redoing but yeah we're just breezing through man um under simmer has been a lot of fun anyway so wait talk to you again no talk to old Liet. Got to talk to old Liet. New alchemy. We're just running through this. I really don't care what you have to say. You guys know how many times I ran this storyline? You guys know how many times I ran this story? In my 986 hours on this game. If you wish... Honestly, I just want to see what I can make this whirlwind be, build be by uh, by in-game in Origin. 
because I chose I chose to do a seasonal character and I chose to stick to origin mode so we don't have to rely on any um, any certain drops other than just the legendary drops that'll be available. But yeah, feel free. If you got any questions to ask, man. I think my cat's having a sneeze fit over there, by the way. It's kind of wild. I can't think of the one skill name, but it's you throw the daggers when you hit... Um... So, yeah. All right. So, BOD. Uh, Blade of Death. Yeah. I thought about... Yo, that was on my mind. That was on my mind, dude. I thought about doing the uh, Whirlwind with uh, Blade of Death. Uh, Blade of Death and leaning into a really heavy uh, bleed build with that one. The only reason why I'm probably not going to is because my other seasonal character is a Piercing Arrow seasonal character, and I'm already using Blade of Death with that character, so I kinda wanted to do something a little bit off the cuff, um, a little bit different, but I feel like the if you do the bleed with the bleed amplification and the damage amp on that, that would work really good. Plus, they're already both physical bait skills, so you're not having to convert your damage type. No, I like that though. That's probably, I thought about that, man. I thought about that. How how, how far in the end game are you? Like I, I'm, I'm assuming that you're in end game already, right? Like you've already dug into the, uh, the lacrima and all that, which, oh my God, dude, lacrima was so confusing in my opinion. Waiting to get that first leggy, baby. No boy. But yeah, um, I'm gonna tell you a little bit, but not as much as I would like. Uh, I got a puppy. Oh, nice. Love dogs, dude. Just don't don't have time for them. Cats are way way easier to. <laughs> you just throw them. You just throw them something, and they're good to go. Just give them some water and food. They'll love you when they want to love you. Otherwise, you don't have to look after those bad boys too much. Are you playing on mobile or are you playing on PC though? I personally, I, I play on mobile and PC. I play mobile when I'm at like work on lunch, and then I'll play on PC when I'm at home. Um, yeah, dude, I've got I've got countless hours in on this game. Um, started with a cross lightning, um, or hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's been a while since I played it actually. My first my first ever build in this game that I did was a critical hit build and i focused in on cross lightning arrow uh oh you honestly didn't know it was on mobile yeah dude it is it is you can you can throw this game up on the mobiles and um in my opinion it's it's just like i have i have a little uh razor um controller that i use or you could bluetooth a regular controller to it but it's convenient as hell dude because like i say i'll be on lunch at home at work I'm like, well, I can grind a little bit, try to level up, and that's typically what I'll do. Um, I'll play. You have a shirt on. That means you can come over here now. You couldn't come over here shirtless. What are you doing? You you gonna plop around? You gonna mess with the cat? Oh, this is called Undecember, by the way. Um, it is free to play, but I, I don't mind getting this out out. You know, let's air this out. The game is free to play, but it does have some pay to get ahead uh, aspects um in the in the in the regular mode so honestly dude if you wanted to you could sit here and spend a lot of money and in doing that you can you gain access to uh you gain access to uh an auction house where you can buy a lot of crap to kind of help your character get built up pretty fast but i think they do balance that out though i think they do a decent job of balancing this um by it doesn't matter how much you spent if your character's level isn't there you can't you can't use it um but i will say the number one thing i think people do spend their money on when it comes to this game is you can have a little pet that goes around and picks up all the crap for you so you don't have to worry about it and it's super hey don't do that to her no 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 ma'am no ma'am if i see your hands around the cat's neck like that again you're not allowed in here do you understand do you understand? All right, I'm gonna keep my eye on you. I know you're just playing, but you cannot play rough with the cat, okay? Okay. All right, back at it. What I don't even know what I'm talking about. 
What am I talking about? We're not gonna be loud in here either, okay? Can't be loud in here. Okay. Got us doing the live stream. You got the camera up and everything, so there's people watching. So you gotta, you can't be super loud. But you can hang out. I don't mind you hanging out, sweetie. I know, I know. You're not freezing me, actually. I mean, probably, probably some of the laziest builds that you can do are the whirlwind build. Um, but they're fast and effective. You be gentle with OJ too, okay? They're fast and effective, in my opinion. So you don't have to, you know, you don't have to stress out as much. Um, let's see. We got. We're already wearing that one, aren't we? Uh, a little, a uh, little less. It's not as good as the one that we already have. It does come with more HP, but the rest of the stats the same. Shh, babe, uh, girl. I'm gonna have to ask you to leave if you're gonna be, if you're gonna be loud, okay? He is a really good cat, sweet cat. Nope, he doesn't bite. He doesn't claw. He's a good little cat. He's a good cat, yes, man. But yeah, uh, don't even remember what I was saying. Distracted. But I have to admit, you know, um, you can you can get through this game really quick with the whirlwind melee build early on, uh, and still dole out pretty decent amounts of damage, pretty quick. So I think I think one of your best practices if you do start playing this game where it's seasonal stuff is just do what's gonna grind you through the game quickly and then make your changes near the end of each uh, end of Act 10 and then kind of delve in there because by then you should have access to a lot of the goodies anyway where you can do that. Because I, I tried to do, uh, I can't remember what it was, but it's just not a fast build and a lot of the stuff you need you don't have directly have access to early game. You have to get a bit late game before you start gaining access to the items that you would want to make this, the build, like, effective. Hey. Yeah, that's yours. That's yours. Uh, what are we doing here? Mm-hmm. Oh wait, I was supposed to go back. I, 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 I'm, I'm so distracted right now. <laughs> I'm not paying attention. Uh, I'm more worried about what she's doing right now. <clears throat> Very wet. All right, should we do shout of terror? I think we do shout of terror. We'll run a shout. We'll run a shout with it. Let's go ahead and slap that on here. Um, let's see. It'll give us a physical damage bonus. Uh, has a chance to stun enemies uh, and dampen the armor. So yeah, we could run Shadow Terror. That that could be nice for what we're doing right now. But my buddy, my boy over here, he's got me thinking. He's got me thinking of running Blade of Death, man. You really do, man. Um, the only re the only reason I was steering away from it, I'll be completely honest with you guys, is that I, I'm already running a Blade of Death build, but I guess at the end of the day, right, I could run that Blade of Death build, get this one close to end game, and then I would have access to the other. We're doing element, right? I think we're doing the element build. So we need to focus on elemental damage. There you go. So we could go 2.5 mana, strike, and element. And that should give everything a kind of kind of like a decent little boost on the DPS side of thing. Uh, do we want we want I think that'll be helpful just for the chance to deal double maximized damage. Ah no, nope, not yet. You got to get that bad boy rare for that part. Okay, but we can, we can, however, get rid of this and then put elemental damage amplification on there. That'll be a little bit more, I don't know, channeling enhancement? 
Probably not. Probably not. I haven't even leveled you up. Not sure if I want to, honestly. Uh, tonight. Yeah, but that's... Dude, that doesn't start for us until like 10 o'clock tonight, Sean. 10 o'clock, dude. So it'll be super duper late by the time um, that'll be live, Sean. Super late. And I, I'm not sure how that's going to go. Yeah, dude. It's, it's going to be late. It's going to be a late one. I'm PST. All good. Oh, see, I'm EST, man. So for me, it'll be 10.30, basically, when it starts. Uh, I really enjoy this game, especially after uh, burning out of Diablo Immortal. Dude, I'm going to tell you, man, a lot of people don't. A lot of people will hate on this game. I mean, honestly, they will. They'll hate on this game. But this is a fun little game, man, in a lot of different ways. This is a fun little game. There's a lot of there's a lot of uh, play viability to it. Um, and like I've got over 900 hours in on this game. I started playing it when it launched the global mode. And then I stepped away because it was kind of kind of rough, dude. The game was actually kind of rough simply because they wanted they they wanted so much money for everything, right? And I ain't gonna I ain't gonna sit here and act I ain't gonna sit here and act like I didn't spend my money. <laughs> I spent my money, dude. I spent my money on it. But yeah, dude, I've got over 900 hours in this game because I like what it is, right? Um, a lot of people were playing a lot of people were playing Diablo, which I did play Diablo, but dude. Money on a hobby is nothing to be ashamed of. I agree. I agree. But I did. I spent a lot of money uh, on this game. Um, okay. Okay. Let me take that back. Not a lot, really. But I spent money on the game. The the um, the what I what I ended up doing. Oh, dude, less than five. <laughs> less than five hundred dollars. Uh, less than five hundred dollars. But um, I say probably around two hundred. Probably around two hundred though. Easily. Easily. Probably around two hundred. I didn't spend a whole heck of a lot of I just I don't know I, I say a lot of money on a game because normally I'll buy a game for 60 bucks and then I'm done you know what I mean so if if I do let's not talk about let's not talk about league I, I did have a problem in league dude I spent thousands of dollars on league on skins on I, 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 I bought characters I, I don't play league anymore I don't play I'd probably say like two thousand dollars I've spent on league dude for sure um, and then you ever play Genshin Impact? You ever played a game called Genshin Impact? I spent more money on that game. I I'm actually embarrassed to talk about how much money I spent on Genshin Impact. Um, I'm embarrassed to talk about that one. So we're not even going to detail into that. Uh, yo, what up, Zach? Yo, Mad Love, man. How you been, Zach? How you been, bro? But no, nah, this little game right here, man, ju just been busy. Yo, I feel that, bro. I haven't, I haven't done a live stream, uh, live stream. Hella fun, beautiful. But I try my best to keep it under 500. This game looks just like Poe. That's honestly why I like it, Ka. I like it because it looks like Path of Exile. Um, but it's not Path of Exile. Like Path is fun, but Path has some debilitating effects near end game to where if you didn't build your character proper and you get to end game, it's gonna, it's, it, it just kind of takes the game and halts it and makes you have to do a lot of stuff um can you try to kiss the enemies uh i mean i don't think it would work because i'm here and they're there you know what i mean you know what i mean i could it probably, it probably wouldn't work that well we could use blade of death on them though hug it out electrified hugs what's it called it's called undecember yeah and it's it's a free-to-play game just like path However, this game is is on mobile, right? So any game that's ever, ever, ever on mobile, dude, is always gonna freaking have some type of some type of money shop, right? So and that's that's fine. I, like we, I was just I was just talking about that. I don't care if I like a game enough. I don't care to spend a little money on it. It's more of what you can spend your money on on this game that kind of kind of gets you. But um, they did they did revamp a lot of that beforehand. Man, it was it, it was almost gruelingly impossible to to get anywhere in this game if you didn't spend money, like seriously. And and I'm I'm talking like it was 
annoying to the point where it was daunting. Like I sat from level 85 to level 91. It took me like two weeks to do, I swear. But um, but this one, it did hurt. People who say micro transactions uh, ruin game just haven't put in hours. Uh, dude, I mean, and sometimes you can't afford to put in hours. So those little micros are dope. I mean, Path of Exile has, whoa, shit, what the fuzz? Dude, you, you subscribe? What the? Hey, yo. Got to try. Yo, appreciate that, Kyle. For real, man. Dang. I think you're the first person who's ever subscribed to me on TikTok, man. <laughs> Mad love, dude. <laughs> oh, that's a surprise. But, like, like you know, getting, getting back to it, dude, is, um, like, when the game first come out, if you didn't have money to spend on the game, it made the game stressful i'm telling i'm talking stressful because you literally knew that it was going to take you years <laughs> what felt like years i like streamers uh that talk with viewers what can i say yo i appreciate that man that means a lot i try to i try to be good about that to be honest because i've been in streams before and felt ignored man and it's like that that has a feel about it like honestly it has a feel about it so i try to make sure i do what i do what i like i'm trying to get that legendary to drop but yeah, man, being in a stream where nobody talks, you kind of feel ignored. Oh, that's painful. <laughs> but yo, check this game out, man. The 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 free to play now in this game, you actually feel like yes, it is free to play. I don't have to because they they took what cost money and took like hours of time and they rolled it over. Is it dead already? Let me see. Let me see. Yeah, those batteries are about to die, aren't they? We need to fix it. Okay. We're going to fix this for my daughter real quick, guys. Um, So uh, so may I ask, does this game compare to Poe uh, skill-wise? Poe, you can pretty much run it. Yes. Yes, dude. So this is, you know, in Path of Exile, which I don't have to explain to you. You already know. Um, You have basically gear that has slots in it. On this game, they do it a little bit different. Instead of your gear having slots on it, your skill has slots on it. You can six link, and I know you'll know that terminology. You can six link anything in this game, any skill. And because you've six linked the skill, you can add the supporting link runes to it. So your main skill rune right here is my main skill rune. It's called Whirlwind, right? I got you, Bay Girl. I got you, sweetheart. Um, and then from there, from there, you can turn around and take link runes that will apply to that skill. I do have two phones. And it will boost that skill. So right now we've got Whirlwind, but because I want to run an electric build, I can convert the main element of Whirlwind to electric. And then I can, anything electric that I do to the skill past that, the skill will get a boost from that instead of being what they call a physical element. Some skills cannot be converted. There are limitations, but that's, that's, the, that's the piece of the pie to it, man. Um, it's what I like about the game. You can run anything. You can pick any skill on this, and I'm. Uh, let's actually show you the skill list real fast, dude, because this is mind-boggling. This is probably my favorite thing. You've got a rune compendium. You can't see my entire screen per se, but you've got roughly. Let's see, one, two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. That's thirty-three plus another seven. So that's about forty skills in one color. About. Oh man, another 60 skills. I mean, uh, 40, uh, 40 skills, another 60 skills and another. And then the blue runes have about another 60 skills. So there's an insane amount of skills within the game. And this just allows you to kind of pick a build and run with it. Um, but here's what's beautiful, dude. Here's what's beautiful. Here you go. Oh, look at, oh my gosh, look, he lights up too. What? Go show that to mom now. Ha <laughs> ha. Um... So, dude, you've got summoner classes, you have melee classes, range, regular mage classes, but, like, it, you've got options, dude. So, we talked about the skills, let's actually talk about the skill, what makes the skills better, is your link rune. You've got a crap ton of link runes to choose from as well, and these go into specifically amplifying how a skill operates or the damage a skill can deal. Um, I'm currently working on my YouTube channel right now. To where I, I'm actually going back. I have a YouTube channel. Um, it, dude, now now hold on. 
Now, hold on. I, I hear you. I see exactly where you were going with this. You said that sounds so much easier. You gotta, you gotta know the only way to get a six link rune is to use what in this game calls a rune birth or a skill rune birth essence. In, in Path of Exile, they're called orbs of fusing. In this game, they're called <laughs> birth. So it still implements that, that, that RNG role aspect of it. It does, but there's a pity system in this one that you don't get in most of them. So yeah, so it's like, it's like that and it's random. However, items drop in this game called Penta Rune Essence and Hexa Rune Essence. Those essences will automatically give you five, six links on it. So it doesn't take long, but but, but it is a farming process. Uh, it is a farming process in it. So like right now, the best I've got is five link. I've got to I've got to re-roll until I can get a six link. I only got four on this one. So they do have that aspect in the game. They do. However, dude, I'm gonna tell you. I'll, I'll be honest with you. I still prefer this over. I still prefer this over Path of Exile, and this is why. This chart right here, these are all your skills, your passive skills. And we know it's super hard to farm currency in Path of Exile to reset this skill tree. In this game, it costs gold, which is the currency that's easy to get. Uh, gold in this game is not hard to get. You can get a crap load of it, and it's easy to pick, honestly. So there are a lot of lingering aspects of Path of Exile within this game. But the things that, that hurt me the most in Path of Exile are not in this game. Right? Because Path, I hated, I hated, I hated putting like 40 hours into a character and getting to uh, end game. And man, dude, you, what, what build you thought was good isn't good. Um, it's terrible actually. And it's not good enough for you to actually do end game on Path of Exile. Path of Exile basically requires you to use a build guide, which I don't mind. Like, don't get it wrong. Like, I don't mind using a build guide, but at the end of the day, I don't get to be like, yeah, that's my build. <laughs> I For 40 hours, I made this build um, and tinkered with it, and it works. Yeah, gold drops very often, dude. I've, okay, let's see. What well, I've got over 10 million gold right now. So, I'm a big, okay, this one is undecember, Kinder. So gold drops often. You get gold from from just running maps. You get gold from playing the game. Gold is is normal, right? Gold super normal. Uh, and then on the auction house, you can actually throw items up to sell. Like I already have this, and we can do a buyout bid. Uh, buyout for we can do a buyout for twenty bid for ten, and we can put it on there for twenty four hours. So we can throw things on the auction house to bid. So we can sell these items that we don't need. No problem. No problem, Kinder. Anytime. I'd love to play uh, or jam sometime. Uh, if you play anything else. Anyways, could I add you on Xbox Steam? Absolutely, dude. Sly Guy Triple Z. Yeah, dude. Um, but it's not Sly Guy's DZZ, by the way. It's actually like tr Sly Guy Triple Z. Um, my daughter is bothering me too. Haha. <laughs> hey, no problem, dude. We'll see you, man. The kids, dude. You got to take care of the kids, man. I'm skipping these storylines, guys. Like I say, I played this game so many different times. Um, I see. I got it. I've got it. I've got it. I've got to move through it. Otherwise, I, otherwise, I feel like I'll be, I'll be trapped. Have a good one, Mad Love, dude. Have a great one, bro. I appreciate you, hundred percent. Appreciate you, bro. All right. Um. Back to talking and going, talking and going, talking and going. But the plural, could you take? Oh, another one bites the dust. Another one. All right, I, I'm I, I'm sensing that we're gonna get our first legendary here. Um, one of our first legendary items are about to drop. I didn't level myself up either. I didn't use any of my skill points. My passive skill point or anything. Now this build is a lot faster. I'm not even gonna lie, man. I this is a lot faster than my piercing arrow build that I swapped to on my first character for this season. 
Um. <laughs> Really liking this lightning whirlwind build though. Kind of wishing I would have done this uh, to begin with. I feel like I probably would have uh, made it through the storyline a bit quicker. I'm gonna have to keep an eye on um, my level because I should have some decent, unique items that I can um, run to help expedite this as well. Right now, I think I'm run, I'm running the lucky fish hook. Let's let's see let's see if I have any um uniques that I can actually throw in here weapon wise. 196 gear critical rate. I'm not running crit though. 51 before I can use that bad boy for Brill's wheel. It's another critical item though. Now this one. That's level 61? Jeez Louise. What game is this, Alan? This is called Undecember. Yeah, this is called Undecember. Guaranteed crit. Guaranteed crit. Guaranteed crit. I, I mean, that kind of sucks. I just I just don't... I'm not running the crit build. Do we have any decent swords? Level 35 on that one, level 67. Yeah, so this is Undecember. Um, it is free to play. Um, forewarning, though. Um, it's, it's free to play. It's easy. I, I, I think it's easy to get into. There is a lot to learn about, but if I were you, being your first time playing, I would choose a seasonal character. They're in season two right now. And season two has a mode called origin mode. And the reason why, if you're if you're new to it, I, I would say go origin mode because it's less to worry about as far as gear goes. Um, all you're really all you're really fighting against is RNG at that point. If you play the standard mode in the season, you're gonna you're gonna be getting um, like gear essences you have to deal with too, and it's not that it's overwhelming, but the gear crafting, albeit a really awesome feature within the game, it's a lot to learn, a lot to understand, and a lot to deal with. So this is called Undecember HT. Um, it is free to play, dude. You, you know, it's it's, it's a free to play game. Um, if you guys do decide you want to get into it, I do have guides on my YouTube channel. It's called Sly Gaming. Um, feel free to check that out for surezies. It is cool, man. It's cool because there's over like uh, it's like over over a hundred skills to choose from, um, and any skill can be viable at the end of the day. You can literally pick any skills and make them viable in the game. It is not on console. It is on mobile and PC. Um, I think it would be dope if they brought it to console. I I wish they would bring Undecember to console. I don't think they will though. I, I don't think I don't think it's in the plans. I could be wrong. Um, but it's it's a totally cool game. It is playable on all mobile devices though. I mean, like you know, as long as you've got a, a decent phone, of course, you can play it. Plays just fine. I find myself playing it on mobile when I'm not at home and I can't get to my computer. I'll play some Undecember. Check it out, yo. Check it out. This right here, this is just a whirlwind build. I already have a piercing arrow build that um, I have in game for this season. But I was like, hmm, how fun would it be to do an actual melee class um, that just goes around wrecking face and so far it's been really cool this is a popular build anyway it's almost a meta build to be honest with you but i i don't have to go this route i don't you can go any route you want to in the game but this build tip simply just has a really fast a really really fast clear speed so you can literally get in here get this build going and run through the game at a pretty decent speed before you'd be like oh you see the game slow down so like my piercing arrow build where your character has to stop my character has to stop to do stuff basically um to attack this one i keep my mobility i am gonna run out of mana though <laughs> oh i am about to run out of mana okay Actually, I don't think we did run out of mana. I think it was just perfect, by the way. I think it was just perfect, by the way. 
Uh, Forgotten Compass Necklace was here for play. Okay. Have again with that. Ooh, look at this Crimson Sword, too. Uh, we'll look at this Blacksmith Sword as well. Let's have a gander at the gear we just got. So, that is going to give us a damage bonus, and it will give us a larger range, but it is a, a little crit damage focused. I'm trying to avoid the crit damage, to be honest with you. Uh, physical damage, that that's not worth it. That's not worth it. What about you? What were you? Dang, you almost, no, not almost double, but you give me pretty decent weapon range. Um, and a little more DPS, but your speed is pretty slow. But you do have a good shock rate. Mm. Let's pop. Let's pop it. Let's see what happens. Oof. I think damage went down quite a bit. I don't know. Let's let's uh let's go to Simba Skills. I'm probably gonna go to Lucky Fish. Go back to Lucky Fish Hook anyway. Doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter. Well, we got Zodiac points. We need to cash in. Let's do apply that. Yeah. Okay, and then we have what two points to spend here? Actually, no, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, we're gonna have to throw another point somewhere. We don't want dot. We're not dealing dot. We don't need that 2.5. Um, I don't care about the... We, we can do the mana regeneration. That's always nice. Okay, and then let's slide back here. Come back into this. On spell, not that one. Did we miss something good here? Ah, we could probably go mana here. More mana, more problems, you know what I mean? I'm just kidding. How much... It's no one... Try us. Is the nation with the most advanced what are you doing, big boy? amongst the eleven nations of Troy. Got my cat vibing out in here. But you know what I'm saying? Elegant appearance. The internal conflicts surrounding the heir to the throne were cutthroat and brutal. Trya was split into two factions that fought over who would become the heir to the throne. Those who sought change supported Prince Favina. And those who wanted to maintain tradition supported Prince Lovia. Politicians did everything and anything to get their opinions across. The king and queen. Danny boy. Hey. Neutral, actually hold on, hold on. Guys, I'll be right back. Yo, 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 yo. I'll be right back. For their own beliefs. The one who reigned victorious in the fierce political conflict after banishing King Alden and Prince Favina to Bellatus, was Queen Romalda. Romalda didn't stop there. She formed the Allied forces with Prince Lovia as its head and cried out to start a Bellatus expedition. But as the Allied forces marched on, the nations of Trom witnessed the power of runes and essences hidden in Bellatus. Eventually, greed for those newfound powers caused the Alliance to fall in an instant. After hearing the news, Romalda promptly headed to Bellatus. But she, too, found herself helpless against the plague. Hey guys, mad love. Appreciate you guys hanging tight. Uh, this is not Diablo 4. <laughs> this is Undecember. It's a free-to-play game. Um, and it got a super duper bad rap when it first dropped. Not gonna lie to you guys, super bad rap. And it, it deserved it though. It honestly deserved the bad rap, in my opinion, because it was very, 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 very pay to win or pay to pay to proceed within the game. Um, now though, they fixed a lot of that, in my opinion. You can actually sit down, play the game as a free player, and whoa, whoa, that's look at that, that that is insane, Jose. 
This is called Undecember. Look at that weapon range right now. Look at this weapon range. That is crazy. I love that. I love that. So we went from that tiny little circle, guys, to freaking, like, the whole screen almost. That's wicked. You let me find something with more weapon range, bro. You let me find something with more weapon range. That makes things, that makes, it just makes things look cool. You know what I mean? It might, it might deal less damage, but that looked cool. That's actually going to give me, it's going to give me less range, but more damage. You know what I mean? Less range, more damage. What game is this? I, uh, this is called Undecember, guys. Undecember. It is a free-to-play uh, RPG, ARPG, kind of like, kind of like Diablo or Path of Exile. Very, very Path of Esca Exile like. Um, ooh, a full moon, two-handed axe. Let's have a gander. This, I, I need to stop picking up gear. That's less damage. But yeah, under Simmer, guys, I, I feel like you should play it. You know what's crazy, guys? I'm gonna say something that's really crazy is i could literally i could literally show you some stuff about this game that would make you want to play it right now okay i know you already you're already curious but there are builds within this game and skills because every skill when well, i okay i'm gonna i'm gonna recant that almost every skill in this game has a way it operates that can be altered once you get the rune to a certain level you could take a skill that operates in one particular way and change its whole output basically um one of the coolest ones that i ever made one of the coolest skills that i ever dug into was one called um quick slash and basically once you get it to a certain level and you awaken its rune you make your quick slash turn into a teleportation skill and basically you teleport around hitting enemy like you just zoop 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 zoop, zoop and it just keep it continues the chain until all the enemies are dead so it's like super cool because it that skill doesn't doesn't operate that way until you get it to a certain level and until you awaken awaken the skill. So it's 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 that's one thing about the game that I feel like it that it has above other games is you can alter your skills to make them work a particular way. Now the quick slash, um, the only problem with that one is it required it required a lot of maintenance. Okay. Like, it required so much maintenance. You had to have certain items. You had to have certain items in order to make it work, or it wasn't It wasn't good. That was the only problem with it. Otherwise, it would have this weird lag. So, some builds are going to be item-specific. She's having fun, though. She's having fun, though. You know what I'm saying? She's having fun. That's all that matters. Maybe I should show you guys the quick slash build. If you guys wanted to see it, if you guys want to see the quick slash build, give me a shout. Let me know in the chat. And I, I can pull it up real quick and easy for you. Sweetie. Uh-uh. No man. You're gonna have to walk out. You're gonna have to leave. If you're gonna if you're gonna do all that. Okay? You wanna see it? Alright, dude. I'll show it to you, man. It's pretty lit. Pretty lit. Let me let me get this boss knocked out. You hear me though? I don't mind you being in here, but you can't be smashing and pashing and pushing and shoving and all that stuff, okay? Okay. Here, let me let me uh, go back. Drew, check this out. I'm gonna please and thanks. What game is this? Ryan Wells. This is Undecember. Uh, let me do select character real quick. I'm gonna show you guys the quick slash build that we made. Um, I wanna say it's I'm trying yo. Yes, so it's my I'm trying yo class or character. So get ready, get ready, okay. So the the skill is called quick slash. And it's Verity. Oh my gosh, I forgot they reset everything. Um, <laughs> they reset everything. Um, and the way the skill operates is you have to have these force chain count. And there's a few items that you have to have in order to make the chains occur. I'm, I'm going to have to actually fill this character out in order to, in order to showcase this for you guys. Uh, we need 198. Let's do some quick math, guys. It requires 198. 
Um, I've got 40 already, so that's 158, right? This is undecember, by the way. 158. And, uh, let's see, dexterity is at 40. And I need 208. So, that's 160. I, you know what? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, don't know. I just... We're, we're going to see if that's it. Make sure that'll... Yeah, okay. All right. So, how does this compare to Path of Exile? It's, um... It has a lot of the same similarities to Path of Exile in a lot of different ways. Sweetheart, no. I told you. If you're going to play in here, you can't be loud, okay? I don't mind you playing in here, but you can't be loud. In your opinion, is the skill tree complex? I don't think so. Um, I honestly, honestly, to be, be straight up with you, the skill tree is probably one of my favorite things about it. Babe, babe, babe. Go in the living room, please. Thank you. I love you. Hey, you can take the box. Go ahead. I love you. All right. So this is what the skill does. I think I think it is. Watch. So <laughs> all I do, like, I don't even have to like press any buttons at that point because it creates a chain immediately. And this skill typically doesn't operate this way. But once you take the skill and you awaken it, you can make it you can make it do chain chain attack and so flicker strike yes yes you get a flicker strike on the skill it doesn't start what game is this this is called undecember it doesn't start this way uh it starts completely different but once you get it set up you can do basically a flicker strike and your character just darts around the screen i freaking love it um i, I did this for last season this was my last season build because i wanted to do something that i hadn't done um, and this is one of these skills that I chose for that. Um, but again, I'll say it, it was really, it was actually really tough because this build, as cool as it was, required a lot of items to get it to work smoothly, okay? And when I tell you, when I tell you to get it to work smoothly, I'm serious. Like, it took a lot to get it to work smooth because where I, fl I basically flicker nonstop now, before it would flicker 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 and then it would stop and then it would flicker 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 and then it would stop so there would be moments in a in a battle where my character wasn't moving at all you know what i'm saying and it sucked um <laughs> because that was when i wasn't dodging around like this that's when i would die but now i've got it set up very well to where it'll flicker and it's 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 a really fun skill and that's something that you can do in the game you can take basic skills that operate one way and make them do some really interesting things um my other my other class that i've been working on um the one that i started this season with that i'm level 84 on um yes that's one it's what i like about it is that it's very similar to path of exile in that you get to do different stuff you get to play around with fields but it's not as Path of Exile doesn't allow you to play around too much because if you messed up, if you messed up, your build just doesn't work in Path of Exile. You get what I'm saying? Like, if you mess up and you get to end game, you're going to spend more time grinding out and trying to find these things to help reset your skill tree so that you can then go back and redo your passive skill tree. And it's just, it's, it's annoying, in my opinion. That's what I don't like about Path. Um, it, it's not Path, we're not playing Path of Exile, we're playing Undecember. Um, and I feel like it's a little more viable. So this one, what they added in season two was the ability for your, your skills to actually ricochet off of stuff. There was no skill ricochet beforehand. So now your arrows can ricochet off the of walls and, and you know, because, of, because they're ricocheting, they can hit enemies in different ways. So that's something new that they've done within the game. And I like that, I like that too. Uh, let's see here. Your pet is funny. I like, I love, I like, I like the pet. I like that little hand pet. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, it won't let you zoom in here. I like the little hand pet, man. Um, I think they gave that away for free. The little, um, I love the way nodes work for undecember. Yes, dude. 
probably my favorite feature about the game is exactly how your skills work. I, I liked Under Simmer. I just couldn't find anybody to play with. So I play Path of play on Path of Exile. Yeah, I feel that, honestly. Um, me personally though, man. I, I don't mind I don't mind playing games like this solo. The only time I actually want people to play with me on this game is when I'm doing like uh raid content. And that's because raid content is a little tough. You can't solo you can't solo in-game content like that on this game. No matter how good your build is, you're probably not gonna solo it. Unless I take that back. Let me take that back. I have seen people solo the bosses after everybody in the raid squad got wiped. I've seen that. But they make it where you, you can't really solo stuff. It makes you do group content for, for in-game content like that. Now, you can make the game super freaking hard at the end of the day. Um, I'll show you guys my other, my maxed out character here. This is Whirlwind Barrage. I feel that, yeah, but it's still a little fun to grind with someone. No, 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 dude, I'm straight up. I'm straight up. I straight up agree with you on that, right? Like, playing a game is always fun with other people. Um... <clears throat> like, I've been playing Last Epoch. I enjoy that game. I'll play it by myself. I will. I will play that by myself. Um, But at the same time, like, it is always... I do it for the dialogue, though, right? When I play games with other people, I'm doing it for the dialogue. I'll show you guys one more thing. This is my Whirlwind Barrage build. So this is the one that I did last season as well. Um, that I really like. I put a lot of work and a lot of effort into this one. What game did you grow up playing? Console or PC? I have always been a console player until about two years ago. Once I started streaming, um, once I started streaming, I got a PC, man. And once I got that PC, baby, it was over, G. It was over. Straight Oskis. This is all I care about now, right? You know what I mean? Dude, I mean, I, I don't know. I've always, I've always, always liked this game. As soon as it dropped last year, believe it or not, one of my viewers, bro, one of my viewers were like, dude, he was like, dude, I'm going to look you dead in your eye right now. And I'm going to tell you, bro, you got to play this game. And I was like, let's do it. And I fell in love with it. The only thing that hurt was this game is very pay to win to begin with. And I think that's what's grinded this game's growth. The reason why people don't know about it, like they know about Diablo, like they know about Path of Exile. Uh, like they know about Last Epoch, is when it first dropped, dude, it was so hard for pay to win. People people didn't like that. And I understand that. Uh, I play, uh, I own a PC and PS5. I just got my PC, don't have people to play with yet. Yo, dude, um, I don't play, a, I'm, I'm, I'm a very peculiar gamer. Um, yeah, it was super pay to win. I'm a very peculiar gamer, but if you happen to share the likings of certain games that I play and you're good people, that I, I, that won't I, I'll play games with anybody. Honestly, I will. I don't I don't care. I'll play games with just about anybody. Um, Titus, this is called Undecember. It is a free to play game. You can find it on Steam or your mobile device. Not yet on console, even though I hope it does come to console. I really do. I hope it does. I think I feel like it'd be really fun. It, it already has controller support. Um, I don't think there's any reason that it, it shouldn't, it, sh it couldn't come to, uh, console, to be honest. I play everything from Final Fantasy, Dark Souls, Division, GTA. Yo, Division, let's go. Not, <laughs> um, have you played Baldur's Gate yet? A buddy of mine bought me Baldur's Gate, dude, because uh, I, I actually talked trash about that game. I was like, that game's going to be lame as hell. I'm not going to play Baldur's Gate, bro. I'm not going to play Baldur's Gate. And, uh... uh Dude, he bought it for me. I was sitting here, I was sitting here live streaming one night, and I get a I get a notification. I looked at my phone, uh, and I was like, "What?" And I looked at what he bought for me. I was like, "No way, dude! I'm not even I don't even really want to play this game." But I was like, "Now I got to, cause my boy bought it." And uh, so I installed it on live, jumped into it, and dude, I'll be damned if I didn't enjoy the crap out of that game. I haven't beat it yet. I've been waiting for him to get back on so we can play it again. But Baldur's Gate is, was, it was fun, dude. I've been really enjoying the new uh, Baldur's Gate 3. Um, I have, I love this weapon range right now, man. I freaking love this weapon range. This is, this is awesome. See, I've never played a Baldur's Gate ever. Um, you know, I've never played one. That's why I was like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to be into that, that, uh, that, uh, that, uh, that, uh, turn-based tactical poo. I ain't going to want to play that. 
And dude, I'll be daggone if I wasn't hooked. I was hooked to the point where I was like, alright, I gotta put this game down for a little bit. And go do other stuff for a while. Uh, because if I don't, that's all I'm gonna play. They announced Division 3, 2, ready for Heartlands 2, though. Did you play, did you play the Heartlands demo? Your vibes are immaculate. Mine? I've got those immaculate vibes? Bro, just gassing me up right now. I appreciate that, though, man. Dude, I've been streaming for about three years. You know, I've hit, I've hit almost every platform that you could stream on, from YouTube to TikTok to Facebook to Trovo. I've been a little bit everywhere, man. Keep going. Uh, keep on being you. Oh, I appreciate that, man. For real. Mad love, man. Mad love. I appreciate that. Hey, with the follow, too? <laughs> Thanks, dude. That means a lot. For real. <laughs> But yeah, I played the Heartland demo, and I wasn't completely sold on that. Uh, I wasn't completely sold on that, and I think that's because the Division was done so well the first time. Like, Division 1. Division 2 was okay. I played it a bit. I, I did play it a bit. But those... The, all, right, all right, check it. Those are games that you got, in my opinion, if you're going to sit down and you're going to play the Division, you better have some bros to do it with, bro. You, you, you gotta have some bros to play that game with. If you don't have uh, bros to play that game with, then I feel like it won't be as fun. I've spent my time, I have spent my time on those games and I've, I'll burn myself out playing those games by myself. You've gotta have buddies to play that one with, in my opinion. But you don't have to, but I think it goes a long way. What is this debuff? Shock, oh, it's my shock debuff. Hey, no love, Looney Man. I appreciate you hitting that follow button. No, for real, man. That means a lot, guys. That means a lot. I don't stream on TikTok very often um, anymore. I honestly, I, I moved over to a platform called You Now. They partnered me, and I was, I was hanging out over there for quite some time. Um, honestly, I, I, I live stream a lot more on my my YouTube channel. Is really where I'm where I'm trying to do my growth. I just reset. I completely reset and did a whole new YouTube channel, so I'm starting back at scratch. Um, I, one of my YouTube channels has like about 6,000 followers, but it's all motocross content. Um, and I love it. I love my motocross content. Uh, but mm, increased duration? Yeah. Uh, but I, YouTube's got to be my favorite platform to stream on. It really does. Um, as far as like my success on YouTube, I've, I've liked YouTube more than I've liked any other platform streaming wise. Um, it has, I think it has a long way to go. I think it has a long way to go as far as making sure that we have the proper stuffs. And by the proper stuff, I mean, YouTube doesn't have a great, I'll take this back, doesn't have the best engagement system yet. I'm not saying they need to be like Twitch, but they need to be more like Twitch. Um, right now, you've got Super Chat and subscriptions. And I feel like they could do more. <laughs> yeah, LMA. I feel like they could do more. I want that on YouTube so bad, man. I really do. I want that on YouTube so bad. Um, because I, I feel like once YouTube gets a grip on, on a system that really makes it fun for live streams, it'll be better because I don't want you to have to buy me super, to spend super chat just to feel like you're engaging with me on the stream. Um, I don't know, but but like like I say, YouTube's awesome overall. Like it is my favorite platform to stream on. I've also found that the the community things that they do on, on YouTube are super dope as well. So I don't know, I, I like YouTube. And I think it's it's got a long way to go, but once it gets to the right place, I think it can be better than than Twitch or uh, Twitch. Yeah, all I'm gonna say is Twitch because, right? Like, what other platform do you really think about streaming wise um, that really does some good stuff for um, for gamers? I don't think I don't I have a, like top tier. I know a lot of people make less money when they when they move around. Like I, you know, I, I guess that's the that's the, the piece of the pie. Everybody wants to make money, which I mean, who doesn't? Like, right? I want to make money too, but I don't care. Not I don't care about not making money on videos that I create. 
But no, I, it came to a point where I had to make a decision on my, my big YouTube channel of whether I was going to do motocross content or gaming content. And I just went ahead and decided, hey, that's going to be a straight motocross channel. That's going to have my motocross shorts, videos, and whatnot on it. And I'm just going to recreate my game in them. So now we're in the we're in the midst of uh, setting up and doing our entire YouTube channel around gaming. And this being the prime game that I actually want to feature on there for the first bit. We're going to try to do all Undecember content on there um, for the first bit. We may swap over and do some other games in the future, but right now it's all in just I really, I really don't mind this, uh, this build right now. Uh, honestly, I, I really don't mind it. I actually, I think I'm in love with this, this build right now. I didn't think it would be so smooth. I didn't think it would work so well, but it does. All right, now I do believe we're gonna have to go hammer. Is it hammer? Mm, it's not hammer. Um, that's your health-based one. All right, we're gonna. I'm gonna have to look into this a little bit, guys. So, weapon range. Ah, yes, yes, yes. It might be this one. Okay, 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 okay. So you've got your weapon range. Yes, it is this one. So we're going. Because what we want is a huge chunk of weapon range. Make sure. Oh. Okay. Minion base. We did have with this one that was melee, melee speed, area of effect. But we can't really. We're not. We're not getting. Ah, hold on here. So we do have the 25% weapon range on this one. We uh, have. This is called undecember. So we might. We might could go rep uh, respiration, then go into corpse. What is, is corpse going to give me? Corpse is not going to give me the weapon range that we want. It, it is going to go into undecember, by the way. It is going to go into, oh man, but look, with the health, the health uh, regeneration. And then you'll be using, you'll be using health for damage. Eek! Um, consume HP. But I, I, and I might be looking too far into this. For the weapon range thing but i feel like in the, at the end of the day from what i'm gonna want to do for what i want to do this tree is probably gonna be the the end all be all for me um fighting spirit yeah, yeah, I think at the end of the day, this will be the best skill tree for me to do. Um, ah, there we go. Yes, so we will have our HP health on, on that. Yeah, we'll be able to go down the melee. Yeah, dude, I think, I think that's what we're going to do because we're going to be able to get our weapon range off of... Final Fantasy X vibes. Then the skill tree might have Final Fantasy vibes, but the gameplay definitely doesn't. Joshua, this is called Undecember. My goal is to just get weapon range right here. We're going weapon range. Uh, maximize that. Um, but yeah, this Undecember, it looks like the skill tree might have you give you might give you those vibes, but definitely, definitely not. No, right? <laughs> like. All right, let's see, uh, two-handed sword. Are we able to, no, 51. We got to level 51 before we can use that, which honestly, this is the one we want because of the attack speed. And yeah, yeah, I mean, this is the one we want. It's got the bleeding buff. We might have to go BOV on that. We might have to go blade to death, guys. We might. I honestly want to see how large we can get our circle. I'm surprised more games didn't use that grid type of skill tree. It's probably my favorite thing, though. I love that grid style. Like, I love the grid style for skill. It's simplistic, um, and it still it still makes you you know you still gotta you still gotta gotta think about it, right? So you see these locks. They got these locks on the edges. You can unlock those with Tron crystals, which is something you have to grind for. 
but I, I, I absolutely love um, this feature. That's why, yo, we could max level that up and get even more weapon range on it. I wonder what the highest max amount of weapon range you can get is though, like for real. I, I really do wonder. I didn't think I would enjoy this build at all. What do we have here? An axe of legendary status. Oh, I already got this one. This is the freeze act. Which I wonder, you know, uh, you can basically do whatever you want with the builds in this game. You can do whatever you want in the builds in this game. So I wonder, would it be fun to do a Frost Shock uh, Whirlwind build at the end of the day? Yeah, I think Final Fantasy was it. Dude, I I mean, I'm a, I'm a huge Final Fantasy fan anyway. You know what I mean? Like, okay, I'm uh, uh, retracted. I like Final Fantasy a lot. I don't play Final Fantasy very often. Final Fantasy VIII was my very favorite Final Fantasy game. I loved it. Um, I played uh, 9 and 10, and then I didn't play Final Fantasy games. I just haven't really... But, I, but I, I literally got to the point where I didn't feel like I had time to sit down and play grueling storyline missions uh, on a game. Because what I'll do, what I'm guilty of, I'm super bad. 8 did have the card game. It did, and it had the GF Force too though, right? Had the Guardian Force, you could summon Quasicodal in and just like, or Ifrit, uh, yeah, it was, it was it was loads of fun, man. For me, anyway, I, I really enjoyed it. I, I really enjoyed uh, Final Fantasy VIII. Oh, what do we have here? Century and summon duration. Yeah, because because obviously I'm doing a, stupid, I already had the. Um, but 10 was cool, I like 10. Um, I tried, I tried to play the newer ones though, and I don't know, I just, was that, something dropped, something tasty, something tasty over here? Nah, we're good, we're good, we're good. Maybe that's what it was. You know what? I mean, maybe maybe that's what it is. It's just how they look versus how they look. Duh. Because I, I really did. I really did enjoy playing Final Fantasy uh, 8. Now, 7. A lot of people love 7. And I really debated on getting the revamp 7. I thought about doing it. I didn't. But I thought about doing it. Okay? I'm not going to lie to you guys. I thought about it. I really don't mind this skill, man. I, <laughs> you know, like, I've, I've debated like whether or not Whirlwind would be fun in this game, and I'm actually really liking. I'm really liking this. No, I'm a, I, I'm a YouTube streamer, bro. Uh. Oh, didn't mean to reply. I'm not, huh? Connor? I don't know, Connor. You're good. Are you on Twitch? But nah, dude. I'm a I'm I'm a uh, I'm a uh, YouTube streamer, bro more than anything um let me see let me see let me see let me see dope looking game yeah dude uh this is undecember uh i asked what game this is and it actually replied to someone in the chat oh okay connor i see what you're saying i see what you're saying yeah so it's um it's called undecember it is a, a little free-to-play game dude and but it's only on pc and 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 uh um it's only on pc and uh, mobile right now. Will it let you? It didn't share a link, does it? If that doesn't work, let me know, dude. Looks like Diablo. Yes, a lot like Diablo. A lot like um, Path of Exile. Uh, have you ever played uh, Last Epoch? You ever play Last Epoch or Torchlight? 
It's a lot like those games, right? Um, probably my favorite genre of games, to be honest with you. I love, I love that genre of game. Um, they're my favorite. And, and I have actually been enjoying, we were talking about this, Baldur's Gate as well. Baldur's Gate doesn't hit the same as this does because it's more, uh, more turn-based. But still, these are, these are games that I love. Thank you for the follow, by the way, guys. I appreciate that. These are these are the games that I absolutely love. I love these types of games. I like I like to create builds whether they're good or not, <laughs> or whether whether I'm good at creating builds or not. Because um, I'm typically not really good at creating builds. It takes me some time to learn how a game operates, and, and that's why I'll say, if you guys are curious about this game and you end up downloading it or you end up playing it because you hadn't played it before, it has very very strong Path of Exile um, feels. Um, the only difference, in my opinion, is uh, there's a mode in this game called Origin Mode um, in Season 2 of this game. And, and in Origin Mode, you literally don't have to worry about about 60% of what the crafting side is is no longer really a focus anymore. Over half of what would be focused on before is no longer a worry. And it allows you to just kind of play the game and learn the basics of the game and go through because the gear crafting albeit amazing and super cool is very in depth and it's not the easiest thing to learn i've watched countless guides i've had people help me and yes torchlight was torchlight's fun a lot of people don't like torchlight because it has that cartoony look but i still enjoy torchlight i still enjoy torchlight mr penguin this is undecember oh um hold on we might we might have to cover the screen for a second. I, I don't know. I don't know if I, I'm allowed to show that stuff. Oh. <laughs> Did I, I don't know if I put 18 plus on this, guys. Oh, no. I'm feeling real guilty right now. Kind of looks like Diablo. Very, very Path of Exile, uh, Diablo Torchlight-esque uh, type of game. Um... I will say though, like the thing, the thing that Diablo wins with all the time is Diablo will always have the better cinematic based storylines, dude. Diablo is always going to have a better story. Okay. In my opinion. Um, this game has a mediocre story. It's interesting, but it's not gripping enough for me to care to sit and watch through cutscene every single time. I, I, I'll be transparent. Um, I've played this game. I've got like over 900 hours in the game, so I'm kind of tired of cutscene. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, I remember when my daughter was like two, I would play uh, the first Torchlight on Xbox with her, and she ah, dude. So you got good links to it. Lost Ark. Oh my god, dude. Lost Ark. Mm. Yeah. You know. There's not a lot of games that I've played that my kids were actually like interested in my kids do not care about gaming at all bro <laughs> now my son recently got into gaming he's nine but he's more into like roblox and he likes to uh watch uh my fiance play um fortnite which are games that i do not really jive with really i'm not good at fortnite though man that previous scene reminded me of dante's inferno they probably pulled a lot of stuff from other games not a lot. I think I hear my son fussing a little bit too, right? Yeah, there's a quick flash. We, uh, which uh, not long ago we were showing you guys um, the uh, quick flash. Oh, I have two of these. What am I doing, guys? It's like I don't know how to play this game. We might be able to max out our one, two, three. Perfect. Uh, Yes, and then I think what we'll do is we're going to do the movement speed, amplification, and speed as well, guys. Yeah, she's 14 now in Minecraft and Rocket League. Yeah, dude. Dude, those kids, man, they freaking grow so quick. They grow so quick, man. Like, I can't believe. I've got three kids. I've got a six-month-old, a three-year-old, and a nine-year-old. And, bro, they grow so quick. And all my kids are born, like, within a... So I've got a January, I've got a March, and then I've got a May. Like, 
I think it's funny. I think it's funny. We got a lot of leveling to do, guys. We got a lot of leveling. We got all the time in the world to do this. Where is that? Look, buddy. I wonder. I wonder if we're gonna be able to see that difference in uh, weapon range. Not really. I don't really see a huge difference in it. But I feel like if I get my balls on a weapon that has like um, a huge weapon range, it's gonna be really funny. I really like it though. I'm liking what this build has. I have two in December and one in November. What? I know. So you, <laughs> winners, winners got you, got you moving right, moving and grooving in the winter time, baby. Yeah, you guys can check out the YouTube channel. It's Sly Gaming, S L Y Space Gaming. Um, but like, honestly, man, I'm so fresh on it. I have like maybe 10 subscribers on that channel. My motocross channel is the one that <laughs> that's doing really well. Um, but I don't, I don't, I'm trying not to crowd all my gaming content, and my motocross content, all in the same place. I want to kind of keep them separated. Uh, planning that around Christmas is a pain. Yeah, I bet, dude. I. Mm. See, my fiance's birthday is uh, December 14th, so so we 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 I deal with it for one. You sir deal with it for two. Uh, no, thank you. <laughs> now they do. There is a new skill room that they added, by the way. But, yeah, I bet. I bet. So this game is free uh, for real on Android and PC. Yeah, dude. Yeah, no, for real, for real, for real free. Um, I was I was saying earlier though, 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 for real. I'm sorry. Sometimes I struggle. I was saying that it is free to play. You don't have to pay a dime to enjoy the game. Um, if you do pay dimes, it's for convenient. Everything in this game that you pay for is con for convenient. Um, if you've got any background in Path of Exile and what Path of Exile offers, then I'm let me sorry, say this. David. In Path of Exile, you're going to be purchasing things that give you um, space, right? Like you're, you're, you'll spend money on things that give you more inventory space or stash box, right? This game does that as well. Um, which, like for me, I don't. I I, I will spend money for that. Uh, there are skins. I will spend money for that. The the heaviest thing about this game that that gets down to it is. Um, instead of Path of Exile did it best where currency is the stuff that drops in the game this game doesn't do that I wish it did I wish it built its 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 currency around things that drop in the game because to me that is I don't know it's just convenient it's nice it doesn't though uh, currency in this game can still be purchased with real money um, and that's where the pay to win aspects come from because if this game didn't have that, I would almost say it's better than Path of Exile. Right, and I'm not even I'm not even being funny when I say that. If this game didn't have that pay feature and a, a, a currency that's only good within the game that you, you can spend real money on, it would be for me better than Path of Exile. I would love to see them get rid of that. I think if they got rid of that and made the auction house really player based, I think this game would explode. I think if they brought it to console, this game would again explode. There's there's loads of actual in-game content. Um, it's not just maps. Um, they have what Path of Exile has. Again, with there are certain events that happen on your map, right? So you have to get lucky, but sometimes there are authorities, there are mist burners, which is a new thing that they added. Um, you've got these kind of raid bosses that you can fight in group content. Um, they've got, uh, it's like not waves, like you load in and you fight bosses and there are tiers to it. So the bosses get more difficult the more you do um, and you're rewarded for, for that. There's leaderboards for that. 
but this game has a lot of viable things within it uh that could make it stand toe to toe with with path of exile and diablo in my opinion but the thing that will always kill it is the money the money portion of it a lot of people don't like that and because a lot of people don't like that they're definitely not going to um dig into the game because of it and i understand that like that that doesn't bother me one bit because i can still enjoy the game a lot even with that even with that going on what's up babe when did you drink all the food? oh god forever ago like i'm talking like forever ago were you actually wanting one no way you, you gonna go buy some Is that where you want to go? They don't close to like nine. No cap! Is that something you're gonna want to do? All right, you uh, you have to let me know when. No, he did. Uh, he didn't answer my. He didn't answer my. He didn't. He didn't. He didn't. He didn't, he didn't, he didn't answer my Discord call. So he's not been on and he hasn't tried to call me back. So I've been live streaming on TikTok, hanging out with these people on TikTok. <laughs> no, you let me know. Good. Why don't you go? I already went out twice today. No, no, because I went everywhere with you this morning. I feel like it was part of your plan. Yeah. She set me up, guys. Boots, boots. This is called Undecember. She set me up, guys. <laughs> but it was all right. Hey, hey, all right. Yeah. I had fun, though. Uh, this is Undecember, by the way. Um, free to play. Super dope. Is there anything Super dope. Is no, I mean, I, honestly, though, I really do enjoy this game. I really do enjoy this game. See, see, like this, this right here. What it takes to buy this stuff, you get by playing the game. You get what I'm saying? Like, th that wasn't an option before, and that's what made this game. It, that's what killed this game. That it, honestly, that is what killed this game. In order to get anything, you had to spend real money, basically, or you were doing this long, monotonous grind that made everything feel just ridiculous um now everything can be farmed crafted and made uh you know what i'm saying what are you talking about joe you know what time it comes on don't you joe i'm east coast baby it's gonna be like 10 30 p.m for me bro it's gonna be so late man it's gonna be so late I don't I don't know. I don't know. I want to, but it's gonna be so late, dude. I, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it. I wanna watch it. Like you you know you know I wanna watch it. Are we gonna do Blade of Death though? Oof. You ain't sly, you ain't sly. You ain't sly. Who ain't sly? You ain't sly. We gotta re-roll. That's what we're gonna do. All right, we're taking a chance here, guys, because what we want, okay, is one red, two blue, uh, one red, three blue, one green, right? Dang! We need at least three blue. This is undecember, Justin. Oh, boy, Hayden going back to L.A. to win the championship. What? What? Wait, 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 wait. Nope. Wait. No, we need at least three blue links on. Hey, yo. Look at that, baby. Look at that, guys. We got lucky right there. I'm going to go ahead and say it. We got lucky. We got exactly what we wanted, though. We did. We got exactly what we wanted. What did we want? When do we want it? You know what I'm saying? 
on December. Um, we'll see. I, I hope Hayden does good. Um, but honestly, dude, I'm not going to lie to you guys. If, if you guys know me, you know, you know, I love the sport. I would rather see Joe Shimoda win. Is it PC only? No, it is on mobile. You can get it on PC and mobile. So, mm, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's on PC and mobile. We'll say it like that. We'll say it like that. Which on it, it it runs pretty good on mobile, to be honest. In my opinion, it, it runs pretty good on mobile. Oh! Yeah, my cat's just bobbing behind me right now. Appreciate the followers, by the way, guys. This is the uh, whirlwind build here. If anybody's wondering. You know what? We have yet to get a legendary item. So I think that actually made a difference, guys. I think uh, leveling up that quick attack and replacing killing machine uh, actually uh, boosted the DPS. In a good way. Honestly. Like, it, I, I feel better about it right now. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it, it looks better. It looks better than it did before. The only thing I need now is a better two-handed sword. A two-handed sword with speed and weapon range would be goaded. And of, of course, attack damage bonus. What do we have here? I wanted to have more weapon range than we had before, of course. I think that's a one-handed sword. I mean, we, it needs to be a good two-handed sword, guys. We get our paws on a good two-handed sword here. Our first legendary drop is going to be a two-handed sword, by the way. Which I feel like my RNG this time isn't as good as my RNG uh, the first time. I mean, good stuff's dropping, but unidentified giant act. So check this out. Oh, what? It says unidentified. They named it unidentified giant axe. Who? Whose idea was this? First off, whose idea was it to name a weapon unidentified giant axe? I'm over here thinking it's an unidentified item that I'm going to have to identify. And typically in this game, unidentified, it is it's, it's free. Bobby. Bobby is free. Completely free, Bobby. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm gonna be straight up with you right now. It is free to play. But you can spend money if you want. You can spend money on the game if you want. You don't have to, though. You can do it completely free, man. You can do it completely free and have a lot of fun at the same time. I say that because it's, it's got paid shops and stuff. Yeah. There is no paywall for characters. Like, let me, let me, let me be clear. Let me be clear. When it first dropped, it was terrible. There was a paywall. You had to spend a lot of money to get your characters uh, set up. All right. Now, not so much. Okay. You can actually grind the game out, have fun, create character growth, take the elements and stuff that you found in the game and actually make good stuff. All right. It makes it way better in my opinion. Especially if you play Origin Mode. I've stumbled across, across this uh, this build here. It's called Whirlwind. I see homie said I was just spinning around. So yeah, it's the Whirlwind build. And I'm linking it up with Lightning Chain. And I've converted my damage type to Lightning. So that they kind of work in conjunction. Lightning effect on an enemy typically makes the enemy take more damage. It's cool stuff like that. The game has over 100 skills. Uh, and over 100 linked skills that you can throw on there to make skills do different stuff. 
Um, and then they can most likely be awakened to change it even more. So there's a lot of build variety within the game. It's called Undecember. But there's loads of build variety within the game, and that's what has me hooked. That's why I like it so much. I, I get bored of a build, man. I can go pick a whole nother build. And it's called Undecember, by the way. Undecember. I don't know why it's called that, but that's its name. I wish they could have named it something easy like Blap. It's called Blap. Go play Blap. I'm playing Blap tonight. Why do they call it Blap? Because you literally Blap your enemies with weapons. You just Blap. I don't know. Uh, okay, this is where we got piercing arrow. We want that. But now, um, I really do like the game. I've got about six different characters, and none of my characters have the same skill. I gotta stop playing S. Dude, this is nothing like Apex, bro. <laughs> oh no! How are you, you gonna go from? Uh, I mean, you're kind of like me though. I played Apex hardcore. I've got I've got over 1,200 hours in Apex, and I'm terrible at it. Like I'm. Tr Did I just knock that thing off the screen? Did you, get, did, did you guys see that? <laughs> what? Dude, I, yeah, but I, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I do, I do personally, personally. I love Apex Legends, dude. I do. Um, it is a very, very fun game to me. The problem is, I'm just not good at it anymore. Like, I can't play rank, I can't play casually, I, I cannot play Apex and be good at it anymore. I'm either getting carried or I'm just dead. I, yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and, and that bothers me now. Because everybody is so good at Apex now, dude. It's like, you don't run into a bad player in Apex anymore. If you do, it's you. You're the bad player. Like, if, if you do, you're the bad player in Apex. I don't know, man. I, I still love love what it is that's less uh, less range and it has crit on it, so we definitely don't want that. But as far as the game goes, man, as, in my opinion, best VR to ever hit the market. Best battle royale to ever hit the market. Um, Super People was cool, but oh my god, Super People was kind of like difficult to, to deal with too, in my opinion. Please help. It's hey, Bobby, 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 mad love for the follow, man. No, nah, man, you guys are supposed to be giving me legendary items by now, All right? I'm level 35. Play Grat. Yo, mad love for the, uh, for the, uh, for the, uh, follow. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate that. Bovine. Plate armor. But yeah, this is, this is the whirlwind build. Um, I'm telling you guys, I've, I've got loads of different builds. I've got friends with completely different builds. They are consistently updating the game, too, to kind of make sure the game is, uh, is getting getting balanced or uh they're changing how some skill operate like with this with the start of this season they did something really cool in my opinion um they noticed that the community was saying this that and the other isn't working the way that we want it to or that we'd like it to we're not working like they just they they were like you know what these range skills are really awesome but could you guys do this and they added a thing called projectile curve, which means like now in, in thin corridors or small hallways, projectiles can ricochet off the wall. When they couldn't before, they just disappear. So they have adjusted that. They also uh, created a thing called projectile return. So like you'll shoot something out and the projectile comes back to the player. And I think that, I, I think again, that, that things like that are really cool because to me, the fact that they're implementing those type of changes to a game matter. Like they don't, they didn't have to do that. Uh, James, this is called Undecember. Undecember. It's hard to say. I feel like I drool every time I say it. Undecember. Uh, James, thank you very much for the follow, by the way, dude. Mad love, for real. You guys are amazing. I am not watching cutscenes, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If you want to watch cutscenes, I apologize. I'm simply not watching cutscenes because, like I say, I've played this game so many freaking times that, um... Hey, hey, yo! Hey, yo! I love hearing talk this knowledgeable. Hey, yo! I, thanks, man. That means a lot, too. Um, I've watched so many... I've watched these cutscenes so many times. <laughs> I'm kind of tired of watching these cutscenes. You know, I, okay. I will say, 
I love that in Diablo 3, when they did a new season, you didn't have to play through the story unless you wanted to. I hope that they do that in this game. Because <laughs> I'm so tired of watching cutscenes and doing all the little go here, go there, do that, do that, do that stuff. I think that they should just, you know, find a way to skip that and still, you know, give the player X, Y, and Z. I don't know. Maybe they will, maybe they want. Again, it is part of their money-making scheme, you know. I mean, you know. How you how do you expedite the process? But yo, I appreciate that, man. Mad love, welcome you guys in. Uh welcome you guys in to some undecember gameplay. This is Saturday, isn't it? Holy crap, it is Saturday. I feel like that's weird. I typically don't game or stream on Saturday. Ah yes. We still are looking for hey wait wait wait. It could be good. It could be good. We're gonna look at this sword here in a sec. Get rid of these baddies right here. It could be good, guys. You gave me a tier six weapon? No way. No way. Why? Venom rate. Why would you give me a tier six sword? How do I have a tier 13? 14, what? I'm not sure, I'm not sure, I'm not sure how I have a tiered weapon that's like double. But we need, we do need a better sword. I, I feel like I need a better sword. I haven't, I don't think I've upped my gear in a while. I'm just running all unique gear. I'm trying to get my character leveled up pretty good. It would not be too hard for me to go back to, um, I don't know though, I kind of don't want to do another Blade of Death build, a Bleed Blade of Death build again, like, I've got, I've done that so many times, I mean it works, it works really good, it works really good, but I haven't done an elemental build in so long, I really want to do an elemental build. And of course me, you know, I choose the elemental build on a skill that's the physical skill that I actually have to convert to an element in order to get um, get that bonus. Sometimes we don't make the best decision. Scepters, which I mean, swords are going to be the best option for weapon range. That's the thing. That's the people. Yeah. I don't like my leap. I feel like leap is my least favorite movement skill in this game. Um, might have to go to sprint, maybe. Give me something. Nothing, guys. Absolutely nothing in there. Maybe I just need to do a better item filter. I do wish hovering over the gear would um, pop a tooltip. Like there, there are like really good quality of life things that are in Diablo, that are in um, water, that are in um... ah, that's the crit one. Uh, what game? Yeah, this is called Undecember. Um, it's it is free to play. Uh, you can download it on Steam or PC. Just got here. How does this game compare to Diablo? Omer, I think, personally, okay, I think it's better than Diablo. The reason why is how this is your skill setup, and you can adjust that crap however you want. You can use almost any skill in the game. There are no classes. You build what you want to build. Um, and it's fun. Um, because of that, in my opinion. So... To me, it being free to play, I say jump in, hop in a seasonal character, go origin mode for your first try, play the game. In my opinion, I I I I feel like I feel like that's that's worth it. To be honest, I do. I feel like that's worth it. You brought the Corey, what? Oh. um, the race is so late tonight, dude. 
I do not know if I'm going to live stream it because it doesn't start till 10.30 p.m., bro. That's super late for me now. Um, I'm, I'm pulling old man shifts. You know what I'm saying? I'm pulling those old man shifts. You know what I'm saying? Like, I might, I might not be able to do it, bro. Nah, dude. I'm pretty sure. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm pretty sure it's not till late, dude, because they are um, in L.A. Yeah, so they've got Race Day Live is on now. But the race itself isn't until 9.30 p.m. So we've got another three hours before the actual, before we can actually watch the race. So another three hours before the race is actually live. I said 10.30 is 9.30. That was weird. I don't know, I love this school. Uh, that's skill. Cool. But, 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 it, it's going to be so late in the evening, I'm probably not going to go live with it, dude. I know a lot of people are going to ask me to, but there's a chance that I'm just going to fall asleep, and I won't be really commentating, which uh, will kind of make it not okay, as to say. So, there's a, uh, what, uh, uh, Nesha, this is called, uh, Undecember. Undecember. It is free to play. We're using what you're seeing right now is a melee whirlwind build. Awesome, thank you. No problem. Mad love. Nope, it didn't give me any. Nope. Kind of just rushing this game, by the way, guys, because, like I said, I've, I've played through it so many different times. Um, I'm gonna try to get this uh, uh, this build to end game as quickly as possible because, actually, ooh, some ooh, uh, is that a unique? Is that a unique? I think it is. Let's see what this unique happens to be. I already have these. I already have these. Reminds me of good old fashioned Diablos. Yeah, man. Uh, it, you, I, I highly recommend you giving it a shot. Now, it is only on PC and mobile devices right now. So, if that, if that's gonna be an issue, um, that'll be the only thing gating you from playing it. Sweetheart, what you got? You get, huh? You wanna show me your toy? Okay, let's see it. I'm a PC gamer. Perfect, dude. Then you're golden. So, yeah. Look. So, what it is, it's got the trick. Like, if you lift his head up, he'll stop. See that? Lift his head, he stops. Drop his head, he goes. Lift. Stop. See? <laughs> uh, hey, mad love for the follow, dude. And it, it, it is on Steam. It is on Steam. Uh, I missed something there. It is definitely on Steam. And I, I, I'd be, I'd be excited to see uh, what builds you guys come up with. By the way, because even though anybody, like, there's a lot of the best builds are out there, you could probably play any build and make it work. And that, that's honestly what makes the game so cool. This is called Undecember, by the way. Oh, I came over to see if there's a problem, but there seems to be some misunderstanding. Please lower your weapons. This person doesn't deserve to be treated like this. My Check it out after work. Time, Absolutely, dude. And we have welcome to. the hero to. of Calicorda. Good 
good to see you again. I heard, I don't this. All right, now, hey, I told you before, I don't mind you hanging out, but you gotta be. But I will say, guys, if you're gonna do a build early game and you kind of want to just slide through the storyline, uh, for your for, like during a seasonal mission. This whirlwind skill is probably one of the, the, the fastest to do that with, honestly. It it'll mow through. It doesn't require a lot of uh, a lot of like items to make it great, as to say. And there's a few variations. You can do the ice, the bleed, the the shock. Um, you could switch this. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, that's an axe. You can switch the skill up to make it. To make it, you know, fit the element that you want it to be. I'm pretty sure you can do poison as well. Like you can do a, a poison deal if you wanted to. Oh wow. Okay, there was there were no there were no two-handed swords in there at all. There were no two-handed swords in there at all. Hey Liz. That was an iron will to end a sword, which is a sword type that we haven't seen yet, I don't think. Same t okay, okay. Oh wow. Less damage, but look at that, guys. Hold on, let's let's Alright, hold on though, hold on. Look at that. Guys, look at that. You see that? You were always so is that it's less damage, yo. But it's more area of effect on it for sure. That's kind of wicked. I like that. I like it a lot. All right, guys, if you'll do me a flavor, hang tight and uh, I'll be back sooner or later. I'm going to pull up the skill menu so you guys can just see uh, the skills with what they are real quick. And then uh, I'll be back. Hang tight. Keep it real. I'm going to put the BRB screen on for the YouTube. Um, if you're on TikTok. Whoop.
hey guys i'm sorry um this is called undecember but i'm gonna have to hit a pause for a bit uh i might just end the live here so yeah um we're gonna have to pause the stream for a bit uh it's not till 9 30 p.m so mad love big vibes guys i appreciate the appreciate the vibes all the follows all the engagements this evening but i'm gonna have to go ahead and cut this thing short um and i'll see you guys on the flip side though okay keep it real and we'll holla at you all right